Yeah, I'm really into that's that show, Walking yeah. Dead. Something unique about me is that I'm like really into the Christopher Nolan Batman movies <laughs> and the television show Walking Dead, which is I know kind of like a sort of a it's niche, a fringe. Yeah, it's sort of yeah. like an esoteric thing to be into. Is the most popular movies of 2009. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and a show about uh, zombies, which is something I've always loved, and not not just a thing I've, I've started paying attention Fuck to. Fuck zombies, dude! Zombies it was, became so mass gay. marketed. Zombies yeah, are the dumbest fucking. Yeah, uh, well, we're vam- it, vampires were the thing, and then they went to zombies. Vampires the, are at least kind of cool. The zombies. Dawn of the Dead remake was good. That movie was yes, good. Yes, it was. I saw and it. I, I saw that, and I was like, yeah, this is a lot of fun. But I was like, in no way, I'm a zombie guy. I'm like, right. that was a great, like, that was a uh-huh. lot of fun to that watch that movie. movie. Yeah. And then all these fucking retards were like, yo, I'm really into, like, zombies? You know, yeah. I know that's. <laughs> And I'm kind of fucking uh, you know, almost, revealing myself. Well, yeah, there here. was all those like memes about zombie apocalypse. Yeah. That was like the yeah, big yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, God, yeah, yeah, so lame. Yeah. Well, one of the one of the fucking uh, the break segments I did was from this like people have been asking about him in particular. I've used this guy like three times. There's a guy uh, on uh, on YouTube named uh, Kage uh, Kage Noaku, <laughs> uh, and his display name is that sodding gamer. <laughs> Which my favorite type of nerd is the guy from America that uses British, British slang. Oh, yeah. would, would a bloody would a, would a bloody way to oh bloody hell <laughs> oh I can't be arsed to go to work today saying oh lines what cues. a daft what a daft <laughs> fellow he is you know uh, yeah right I'm yeah. just taking the piss yeah right yeah. that kind of shit well so yeah this guy that side and gamer who's who got went viral a couple of years ago because one of his videos is him sitting in his backyard and his mom's taping him first of all this guy's like 32 years old. hell yes uh balding horribly looks awful hell looks yeah. like absolute shit he looks like a fucking fat autistic klaus nomi <laughs> and uh and he's so he's sitting there with his younger brother who's got like an even more of like a basement rat sort of thing oh going no. on. And he's like, Okay, this is my Kitana unboxing. And he has like <laughs> yeah, this yeah. weird accent he made up. It's not a regional accent. He just sort of ducks like this. And he's oh, like, sounds like a Simpsons This character. is actually my first Kitana. So, uh, you know, there are ones that are uh, some, some, some better quality maybe, but this one is, uh, sort of a, uh, a, a mid range katana. Uh, you know, I, I have one, I think one I might have seen this video. Yeah. And he's like, you know, they have some at, at flea markets, but those are just, could just complete crap. <laughs> like, when is the real... quality of your katana ever going to matter? <laughs> this is a real Hattori when he Hanzu. fucking kills yeah. himself yeah. Yeah. <laughs> after fucking forty five no, years of never gonna, having he's sex. He's just going to use that katana to open the packaging on more katanas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing you do with the katana. <laughs> the blister pack rating <laughs> yeah. on katana should yeah. be that's the number one thing. Through, yeah, the How fucking... quickly can this cut through a sex doll's <laughs> packaging? Yeah. How quickly can this cut through a real doll? Yeah, there's that. <laughs> If my real doll displeases me, <laughs> you know, that guy kills his fucking real dolls. There's that, and then there's the Game of Thrones swords guys that are like, this is like oh, yeah. and steel. Guy, yeah, with the yeah. claymores and shit, oh, the swords Jesus you can't Christ. even pick up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I've used that guy a couple of times, but one of his videos is like, uh, okay, this is uh, how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Oh, God. <laughs> apocalypse. Using only swords. Yeah, using only British expressions. <laughs> uh, he's like, uh, you want to conserve resources and, you know, you want to get a group together. That's one of the, like, the pieces of advice is get a group, which is like, I like to, to him... The idea of forming any kind of social connection with other human beings is only exists in an apocalyptic scenario. <laughs> right, 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 the idea right. of having friends is something that could only <laughs> that's be <why>. that's <laughs> necessitated <why>. by <laughs> the world ending. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you just want to live with your mom and make uh, unboxing videos. Oh my god, that's why those people want fucking apocalypses to happen because oh yeah be dude I used to hang to, out with them i used to do a bit about when i was like younger uh about like how nerds are just obsessed with like basically any nerdy obsession it, the the prerequisite for them to be obsessed with it is that it exists in a time that's just not now right so like yeah. they're like they love the renaissance because in their mind they would have been a knight and it's like no you've been a, the guy that the knights make fun of <laughs> right right yeah, yeah. like our, their modern day equivalents do now or star trek's like oh things would be so much better if we lived in space it's like first of all 
uh, Starfleet is like a military organization. <laughs> right. Yeah, you, they have You'd to. You'd have do, to they, make it through you basic. Training. Yeah, you couldn't make it through basic. You, they wouldn't let you in space. Yeah, no one on that ship is fat. You know how fucking bad you would look in that uniform. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking like Under Armour it would skin show type. every single you flaw. You would look like absolute <laughs> shit. <laughs> Just in like that fucking uniform. Have a Roddy in a wetsuit. Yeah, uh, to be in space and appreciate diplomacy. Like you're gonna have some fucking asthmatic retard stinking up the sealed oxygen. You know, getting his dick sucked in the holodeck constantly. Which, by the way, they never address that on the show. Is like, oh my god, how much cum must be on the floor of the <laughs> holodeck? <laughs> And who has to clean that up? <laughs> that would be their job. Yeah. Their job like, would be to yeah, clean yeah. up the gum. Well, that's the why they have robots. I'm sure Data has to do that shit. I feel like that's when it got kind of <laughs> lazy. I was like, I was always laughing about there's an episode where they give Data like, or maybe it's one of the movies where they give Data and like an emotion chip. Yeah, yeah, and then it's he, an like, episode. He yeah. can't stop laughing uncontrollably or oh, whatever. Oh, he's so annoying. Yeah, and he, yeah, he becomes, like, you know, obnoxious. And I thought it'd be so funny if they gave him the emotion chip, and then he's like, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. And they're like, Data, what's wrong? He's like, I just realized what Worf has been doing to my mouth. 